Hello again. Here's another drawing exercise. The purpose of this tutorial is to demonstrate how I would convert a 2D drawing of a T as used in plumbing into a solid model. Please remember that there's always more than one way of drawing anything. And feel free to comment about my work and I'll try to answer any questions you might have. What you are looking at is the 2D drawing and solid model of the T in paper space. The first thing I'll do is erase both the large and small viewports. You can see that the drawings disappear from paper space. All that remains are two rectangles which I drew previously to serve as templates for when I redraw the viewports later on. To get into model space, I'll click the model button. Notice that the drawings still exist in model space even though erased in paper space and that I split the screen into two vertical viewports so that there will be room to redraw the solid model on the right hand side. I created the two viewports so that you can see the original drawing on the left and better understand how I'm going to create the solid model. First I'll create a new layer, call it solid, make it red, and make it current. The first thing I'll do is draw two concentric circles, one a diameter of 1.5 and the other a diameter of, of 1.2. Now I'm going to switch to a southeast isometric view and extrude the largest circle a distance of minus 1.8 and the smallest circle a distance of minus 2.5. Then I'll draw a vertical line connecting the centers of both ends of the large circle a distance of 1.8. Also, we want to draw a horizontal line a distance of 1.5 starting from the middle of the vertical line. Where the two straight lines intersect, we want to draw two concentric circles, one with a diameter of 0.6 and the other a diameter of 0.9. Next, we want to use the 3D rotate command and rotate the two small circles 90 degrees. So I'll select the red ribbon and type 90. Finally, we extrude the 9 inch circle a distance of 1.5 and the 0.6 diameter circle a distance of 2.5. And now I'm going to subtract. I'll subtract from the large circle and the other large circle, the inner vertical one, enter. And finally, I want to subtract from all of it the that circle, the inside circle. The order of subtraction seems to be very important and the, in, the inside diameter of the nozzle seems to be, should be subtracted last. Hope it came out right. I'll add some shading to see what it looks like. Well, it doesn't look bad. And finally, I'm going to merge both of these vertical viewports into one viewport. Having finished the solid model, I want to get back to paper space to view the drawings properly and make the drawing ready for printing, so I'll click on the Layout 1 button. As you can see, my template rectangles are still there. Now to create the two viewports, I'll use the M view command and select two diagonal intersections to create the larger and smaller viewports. Now I'll double click inside the larger viewport, inside the smaller viewport, switch to isometric, uh, southeast isometric view, and pan and zoom to enlarge the solid model.
and of course double click outside the viewport so as to get back into paper space. You have to remember that when using paper space the entire drawing should be printed at a scale of one to one even though individual viewports can be set to different scales. You can set the scale of the large viewport by selecting it and clicking the properties button you'll find the standard scale under miscellaneous and you can select any scale that you want and once the scale is set you can double click inside the large viewport and then pan so that only the 2D drawing is visible sometimes it's necessary to move the solid then of course you want to double click outside the viewport to get back into paper space. Finally, if we don't want the large and small uh, rectangles to be printed, we go to the layer dialog box and freeze the layer of viewports where the viewports are located. The drawing is now complete. If you enjoyed the tutorial and want more, please comment on the video, as I enjoy hearing from you. Thank you for watching.